status check. It's tense moments just before liftoff. Go L-55. Early morning at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. T minus 10. Vanderbilt's payload, a tiny metal cube measuring radiation effects on electronics, is on board, one of 13 miniature CubeSats in this mission. The Vanderbilt payload was sponsored by NASA. The small payloads were loaded into a large nose cone, then lifted to the top of the rocket. Three, two, we have RD-180 ignition. The Atlas V rocket takes the CubeSats into space. Vanderbilt worked with AMSAT for this flight. This is the system we were evaluating. The payload started here at Vanderbilt's Institute for Space and Defense Electronics, designed by engineers and students. The satellite is small, about 10 centimeters or 4 inches on each side, and weighs less than 2.5 pounds. The team has done billions of calculations regarding radiation effects on electronics. I'm working on how electronic components behave in the presence of radiation, uh, like the radiation you would find in space. Their goal is to develop electronic systems that can better handle the harsh conditions in space. Looking good. At a predetermined location in space, the CubeSat is deployed and begins its separate mission. Back on Earth in a Vanderbilt classroom, researchers begin their work, following the satellite in orbit and analyzing data it sends back to them from outer space. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.